Now to the latest on that path of destruction from deadly tropical storm Isaias, leaving more than 3 million people without power this morning. New Jersey alone with more than 1 million outages. And that's where we find Stephanie Ramos with the very latest on that. Good morning, Stephanie. Wow, I'm just leaving our office. There it is right there. We've been losing power all day long. It's been nonstop power cutting in and out. And this was the final straw. Uh, we just kind of lost cell service too. So I couldn't even use my phone as a hotspot. Um, our whole team was just using cell phones as hotspots. But I got a call from my wife and a tree fell across the driveway so she can't even get out of the house. Out the window because no one can come in our driveway. And I just wanted to make this quick video to show how important it is to have backup power. We have no backup power at the office and we were, you know, losing communication all day. We lost power at our house this afternoon and we've been running off our three uh, power walls uh, for the past hour. Grid just got restored, but um, how much of a bummer would that have been if Bianca was stuck home and had no power and the tree was in the driveway? That would have been a true, true bummer for her and it's just that sense of security when you have backup power even my neighbor rushed home from work to go get his generator going and uh us i i did not have to rush home from work because we had full electricity and power but that would have been an emergency that would have definitely interrupted the day would have had to rush home and been driving in this crazy weather that you can see right here it's uh just that sense of security of having backup power in times like these you don't know when you're gonna need it but when you do need it you're really happy that you have it so uh, headed home now to assess the situation I have IT tree services uh, Ian Talaferro coming over to help me cut this tree down that's in the middle of my driveway and uh, we'll keep things going so we're just pulling up to my street. Look at all these trees down. This is nuts over here. Wow, everything is down over here. There's Ian. There's the tree, it fell right across the driveway. Good friends and great neighbors, super appreciative of them right now. Let's go check this out. So I got home and uh, one thing I didn't realize is we were still out of power. We, um, this is the tree that fell across here and I don't know if you could hear it, but there's chainsaws and generators running in the neighborhood. And uh, I got home, I was starving. I threw a little burrito in the microwave and we're fully powered up right now. The power walls are roughly at 90%. So uh, just, these are the moments you got it for, and it's pretty cool to see it working. So right now, I got my hands full. I gotta clean up this tree that fell across the driveway.
Huh? Through the garbage and ate a few chicken bones. But he's still alive, right? He's alive now, but do you think he might die later? No, he'll be fine. It won't rip his stomach or anything? No. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Hey everyone, how you doing? It's day two and we have no power. Um, I was at a job site this morning, uh, but came back home to work for a little bit because we do have power at our office, but no Wi-Fi. So right now, I set up this cool little iPad in the kitchen and on it, it shows you um, that we're still running off solar powering the home as well as juicing up the battery. So we're having 10.2 kW come off our array, 1.7 kW the house is using, and we're sending 8.5 kW back to the battery. Um, right now, the batteries are at 80% and it's 10.57 in the morning. What I did is I Velcroed this iPad to the back wall here and I kept the iPad. I went where, you know, it has screen lock and you could have it, um, you know, shut off after five minutes, but I clicked on never. So it always stays on and it's always in that setting. So you could see what the home is using. So pretty cool little hack. If, uh, even if you don't have power walls and you just have a solar system that works great, you could always watch your monitoring system. But right now the sun power panels on the roof are absolutely kicking. It's, uh, only 11 o'clock and they're producing 10 kW. So they got the batteries almost filled up by an hour before lunchtime. And that's why it's so important to have quality solar panels with your storage system, because in emergency situations like this, when everyone's running off generators and uh, different you know, power sources, our solar is powering the batteries um, while we're you know, still working from home and doing daily, daily, daily functions. All right, we'll talk to you later. So I've been sitting here all day working right now. It's 3.30, my last update was at uh, 11 o'clock and we just got power back from the utility company. So we were down yesterday from one o'clock till the next day at three o'clock. And I didn't even know we were back on until I got a little update on my cell phone. Pretty cool.